Good evening. Welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Sephrod announced today that it is still in the sugar business. Group CEO Richard Pandui made the announcement during an interview at Sephrod's annual general meeting. TVJ's Andrew Laidley has the details. CEO of Separate Group Richard Pandoi says his company hasn't abandoned its sugar operations. He says although the Golden Grove factory will close, farmers continue to plant and reap cane on about 1,900 hectares of land owned by the company. We have closed on the sugar manufacturing operation. We still continue to grow sugar and maintain sugar in the fields, sugar cane in the fields. I mean, the government has announced that there will be... Um, subsidizing the transportation of sugar for farmers to Word Park and for the next two years. Something they have done in the past and we expect them to live up to their commitment. So we'll continue to maintain the factory, come maintain the fields. And furthermore, we actually have engaged PwC, Price Waterhouse, to look to sell the sugar operation. So I mean, you know, it's we we have closed the factory but we haven't exited the sugar business in, in totality. He says the company decided to continue its cane field operations to prevent any major fallout to the already fragile industry. At the stage that we're in now, where we're looking potentially for a buyer, we don't want to disrupt the operation. <laughs> And um, so things remain as is in terms of the sugar cane operation. At the same time, Mr. Pandui says Separate is getting its house in order where outstanding payments to farmers are concerned. But he notes there's a due diligence process which must be observed. It was clear that there was some misunderstanding. So the cane payments are made in three parts. And they have gotten two, part, two sets of the payment. The third payment comes after the industry looks at what has happened and then makes a decision and says this is what is required to be paid. So we have, um, we'll pay Jones and the farmers in accordance with the, the, um, the structure that exists and tradition. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. We go down to currency trading. Today ended with the U.S. dollar selling for $137.93. The Canadian dollar closed at $105.28. The pound sterling is now selling for $170.92, while the euro ended the day at $154.87. On the stock markets, the JSE index lost 2,986 points today. The junior market index declined by 25 points. Among today's winners, Blue Power Group, Key Insurance, G West Corporation, Carreras, and Radio Jamaica. On the losing side, Caribbean Cream, Medical Disposables and Supplies, Iron Rock Insurance, Consolidated Bakeries, and Sibony Group. And that's your business day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening. Mm -hmm.